Yeah, how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say check me. Namaste! Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome, or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or massages. Come in! Come on! I've got intel. Recon is afoot. Energies up, 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 big cat. I insist. May your comings and goings be forever covered by the grace of the Most High. When in doubt, go within. One darling this. You have Ingus in the upright, I might add. Ingus is represented by the Emperor in tarot, darling dears. It speaks about you using your common sense, darling dear. Common sense, which is a superpower amongst the feeble-minded simpletons. Mm -hmm. The energy of Ingus also could speak about male fertility. It represents the father, father figure possibly a husband. It also can represent you as an entrepreneur, darling dear, someone who stands on business. Mm -hmm. On the runestones, Ingus is represented by the number 22. On the tarot, it's represented by the number four. All goes back to the four. So this reading, good golly and gosh, the emperor is Mars as well as Aries energy. Mm -hmm. So this reading is about the number nine, a situation that has come to fruition. The number, you may be a life path nine. It represents the numbers nine, 18 and 27, represented by the letters I and R. Mm -hmm. Okay. The energy of Saturn itself um, rules Capricorn as well as Aquarius, as well as the letters P and F. Mm -hmm. Phoenix frequency, maybe. Mm -hmm. It speaks about you being a natural born healer, darling. There's a humanitarian. You care for others. You may even be a caregiver. Okay. Your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be the three, six, and nine. Come through Tesla. Posh clap with the key to the universe. You also have your luckiest days being the Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Avoid the numbers four and eight. It speaks about many people are being motivated by you, darling dears. You're motivating many. Ha <laughs> ha! Because you stand on business. Mm -hmm. Because you are a boss, darling dears. It also speaks about you having taken some kind of risk, some calculated gamble, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Saturn is about what? Breaking out of your comfort zone if you don't want the rules and regulations. Saturn, the father of time. Good golly and gosh, bestie. I know. I know you've done something, darling dears, which is about to set you up into your old age. Mm -hmm. You've you've um completed some kind of a test, an exam, because the number nine is a highly spiritual number, darling dears. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling as though I'm, I have to speak on the ninth house as well, darling dears. The ninth house is, as I said, is a highly is the number nine is a highly spiritual number. The ninth house is about expansion, higher learning, darling dears, um, different cultures. You may even be learning a new language. You are definitely publishing something, darling dears, whether it's a book or online because it covers the internet. The ninth house is ruled by um, Jupiter energy, darling dears, Sagittarius energy. Jupiter is about expansion. It's about learning. It's about your humanitarianism, darling dears. Some of you are learning astrology and it also speaks about your beliefs having changed. Some of you are going to be put in a position where you are a teacher and a counsellor. Remember, I told you that. Highly spiritual number, I told you. For others, this speaks about some kind of court proceedings, some kind of legal proceedings. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. 
Oh, I love it. I don't hate it. The energy of Inga Stalin is the emperor. Okay. So it's also telling on Stalin is for others, this speaks about a permanent partner coming into your life, whether it's platonic or um, of the romantical time. Romantical time, Freudian slip, meant to come out, darling dears. So the time is now for some, darling dears. Others, you are an entrepreneur. You are driven, darling dears, by a passion to succeed. It also speaks about you having made many a head over head over heart decision of late. It speaks about your fearlessness. It also speaks about you having a new level of wisdom, darling dears. You others, you have some news coming toward you, big news, darling dears. It's because you dug deep, darling dears. You were stubborn in your pursuit of whatever it was darling dears entrepreneurship a promotion start yeah a business whatever you done darling dears you did it like a mouse mm -hmm. and you are what created a lot of attention darling dears why because the echo praxic the copycats like to get their echo praxic on darling dears remember i told you that you are shining bright like a diamond at this moment in time okay Let's get your Oracle Ancestral message around this. Oh, this one did a full forward roll. It says passion and pleasure, darling dears. Fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. We also have what a new moon in the background, darling dears. Set your intention at the new moon. Remember I told you that. Mm -hmm. Savor your life. Enjoy what you've got going on. This could you could be a traveler, and it also speaks about intuitive, highly intuitive nature, darling dears. Utilizing your psychic abilities again, ninth house energy, highly spiritual, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. It also speaks about somebody's grandparents, a role model. Possibly a teacher or some kind of religious leader or in a religious realm. Okay. Your grandparent, someone's grandparent is telling you to go go for your pa go after your passions. I believe this is a grandparent that's already crossed over, darling dears. Someone who liked dancing, darling dears, like music. It also speaks about cookouts. Maybe they was the leader, the, the top chef, darling dears. Yeah, because why miracles are about to be afoot for you. Remember I told you that. Divine, the universe is giving you a lamp. So shine that bitch up, darling dears. Shine it up. It also speaks about these miracles are in the palm of your hands. Mm -hmm. You have a um, waxing, giving us moon in the background, darling dears. So it's building momentum. Whatever you are focused on, darling dears, whatever it is you are trying to bring down to this Malkuth, let let it be known that it's on its way yeah this is about you continuing to be focused on what you want to create in your hemisphere base of the deck because you chose to walk into unknown territory darling dears the bird represents your higher mind the owls represent wisdom darling dears and it's a wisdom to look at what situations and circumstances that may come to what try and take you off your path not on your nelly i heard Mm -hmm. You are exactly where you need to be at this moment in time. A position where you are about to what? Create some kind of miracle in your life. You're being impassioned. Fire energy, darling dears. It speaks about, as again, you using your psychic abilities. And it's about your work and your career. It's about to change. Change position. Yes, be every well. Miracles are afoot. Are afoot. Fire energy is ruled by Archangel Michael. Call him at any time for assistance. The fire energy also represents the south direction. Maybe you live in the south. Mm -hmm. Something about noon time, 12 p.m. is significant for some. Again, utilize your creativity, darling dears, because you are motivating others with your actions, your visions. Your spirit animal could be a lion or some form of big cat. Mm -hmm. Your transformation season has arrived, darling dears. Something to do with the summer solstice as well. Yeah, these are people that knew you in your youth or whilst you've been on your journey. Mm -hmm. You stepped into unknown territory. You rather be out there, right, with a puppy and a goldfish rather than being what amongst those that don't wish you well. 
emperor energy, you have to realize that you are the boss of your life. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is just a walk-in. Yup, yup, and yup again. All right, all right. Let's dive deeper. Okay. I'm going to go with the green cards. Messages. Somebody has a new man or woman coming into their life. And it also speaks about the, the transformation of self, darling, the ninth house, higher learning, expansion, broadening of your mind and prospects. Some of you are going to be traveling or what your intel will be traveling via the internet. Ninth house is about publishing, as I said. Mm -hmm. Yep. What did I say? Fakerzoids are going to be on you like white on rice, darling. This. You're a beacon. Why? There's about to be a luck up. Why? Because you overcame some kind of traumatic situation or you help others identify real trauma and overcome it. What did I say? Teacher and a counselor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Family member, darling, dears. So we know who it is that's trying to get their echo praxic on. Someone who doesn't like the fact that you are impassioned by your life. Maybe they expected you to go down Bobby Brown, but you did what Bob Marley said. Some people just get wet in the rain, but you chose to dance to the beat of the universe, darling dears. Yeah, there's an age gap between you and these family members, darling dears. An age gap. Mm -hmm. And they are what? Narcs. Yes, baby, we back in the back on the family members. Good golly and gosh, you've done something, darling dears, that they haven't or couldn't, darling dears. Something that was divinely guided. Mm -hmm. Miracles are definitely afoot, darling dears. Yeah, someone also has a court date, darling dears. Oh, oh, didn't we just say a court legal situation, ninth house things going on, darling dear? The Emperor energy is Mars. Aries energy is about yourself, darling. Some of you are about to change your appearance, um, physically change, whether it's your hair, your body. It's taking better care of your physical appearance, darling. It also speaks about a change in your worldview. Mm -hmm. The first house, Aries energy, is also um, it also encompasses the the relationship with your close family members, darling. This wood child and your early environment, blood. Ooh, child. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about impulsivity. Somebody was extremely impulsive. Well, if they're not, they're gonna be darling dears. Why? They've got their own their own agendas. Back with the family members is like what? The Adams family. Yep. Mm -hmm. This and that, darling dears. You prefer the unknown territory over their company and their understandings, darling dears. It was the workings of the feeble-minded. You are Ibex, I say. What's that Ibex, darling dear? Goat, greatest of all time. Have you not seen an Ibex goat? They're able to run across sheer face cliffs, darling dears. Run, and I, not, I kid you not. If there's a crack, they don't fall back and neither does the big cat. Fist bump. A fake as darling is maybe somebody wants to ingratiate themselves to you like as though they are a family member base of the deck darling is you have the pallets of coins so you've created some kind of stability some may say that you have a boring life but listen you may think it's a boring life darling is but from the outside you are living la vida loca darling is why they're watching you online they only see what you post darling is they don't see what you have to go through to create this some of it we see when we see a dormouse it's about a mundane existence darling is the rinks and repeat well you had to do that in the unknown yeah, and you had to what? While you was there, you had to love it and not hate it in order to create this transformation in your life, darling dears. Yeah, you love it. You don't hate it. It's fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if somebody wants to be like family. This person deserves a spiritual court date, darling dears. They're a narc. Trying to infiltrate what you've got going on, King of Swords. You're being watched big time. But it's also a reminder for you to continue to move in silencio. Mm -hmm. The King of Swords is not easily rattled. Rattled. It also speaks about you gathering some form of information. You may work in the legal field. You may even be in the 
armed forces, but definitely a boss style in this. Professor of the puzzle, don't you think? King of Swords, but yes, you are being watched, darling, dears, by those who created a tower moment in your life. It also speaks about you brought about this, this change, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Change that they didn't find fabulous, gorgeous, or lovely, darling, dears. Change that has left many bitter. Lots of sword energy, darling. You're living rent free, free in their cranium. Mm -hmm. They would love to come back with a second chance. This person, darling dears, this person, if it's someone that's already been removed from your shiznai, they would like a second chance. A new person that's coming in trying to ingratiate themselves as family. Good golly and gosh, so this is a friend that's coming in a Judas in a Peter suit, darling dears. Yes, yes, yes. They're going to try and ingratiate yourself, but you will always, you're going to catch them, darling dears, one day, just looking at you with those eyes, darling dears. And then they're going to cover it up. Give a fake smile, pretend that they were staring into... Nah, blood, they was looking at your greatness and it upset them and it showed on their boat race. That's Cockney rhyming slang for face, darling dears. They come with deceit and empty words. Efficient 5-6. Remember, I told you that, darling dears. This blown out and run through. Pretend to me, right? You better see it for what it is, darling dears. You are the light. Hangman, 12th house, hidden enemies, darling dears. In the upright, this is hidden, en I mean, this, yeah, in the upright is hidden men, enemies. In reverse, right, these enemies are about to be revealed again. 12th house energy is about your intuition as well as your psychic abilities, darling dears. Read the room, shorty. Why would they want to rush in quickly, darling dears? You better disappoint their what? Disappoint their point A and point B, darling dears. Disappoint them. Why? They will take you swiftly into dummy butt territory to be avoided. Law number 10 of the 48 laws of power. Good golly and gosh. Hangman also speaks about... um. Oh. My condolences. Somebody lost someone. Somebody... I'm just going to say what I see. They, they unalived themselves, darling dears. It was done by a matter of a blade. That person's energy is around you at this moment in time. Yes, baby, wishing that they were still strong, darling dears. Wishing they'd stayed strong. That's a message for someone. Good golly and gosh. Oh. Be careful, darling dears. Of opening up your fields to all of these energies. Yes, they may have been someone that you loved and and um, was around. They was around you like family or they were a family member. But they are draining your energy. Surely as we see the tower here, you're going to have to remove that energy. Cut that soul tide. This goes into a pair of scissors, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Their spirit has, has turned jealous, darling dears. And they would love for you to be, what? In some form of trauma. To feed them. To feed them. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the tower moment. This this is two gossips, darling dears. Immature energy, jealous energy, unable to what think their way out of a pink paper a paper bag. Something to do with the colour pink came out. And they're the devil's most diligent worker, darling dears. Envy. Lots of addictions, codependent, darling dears. People that wanted to keep you in a cage. And for new friends, darling dears, they come to what? Try and find out what your insecurities are, darling dears. So they can run tell that, darling dears. Or use it to manipulate you in some way. Mm -hmm. Why are they so mean? Good golly and gosh. Because of the, the energy you carry, darling dears. The spiritual weight, sun energy. It also speaks about you possibly meeting this person on your vacation or sabbatical. Yeah, not when you're about your regular work. Even if you're doing a side hustle, emperor energy, a business, whatever. You're going to meet this person while you're out there enjoying your life, darling dears. And here they are, the bringer of the darkness. Listen, three major arcana lined up. Divine as a hand on this, darling dears. This sneaky energy. Yeah, manipulative energy. This is new friendships as well, darling dears. As well as the ones of old, especially if this person has unalived them or there's lots of sword energy, you severed that friend. You, it was done, blood. It was a done dollar straight to Easter Island and Stevie Wonder with love and light. I mean, two of these and one of those. 
Yeah. You severed this situation, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. This goes to nine of swords. Yeah, this person has been sending lots of negative words. Words of spells. I keep telling you, this is why you protect yourself. Especially in your boudoir and your chariot of righteousness. That's your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Black obsidian crystal or black tourmaline. Especially in your boudoir next to the mirror, darling. Is especially if they know what the layout of your boudoir is. Yes. You got to put that work in, darling, dears. Yeah, people are going to be drawn to you because of your success, your work ethic. It also speaks about you getting some form of certification. And again, it could be online, darling, dears, or being seen as certified. Yes, in that enlightened community, darling, dears. Good golly and gosh, you different. Moon energy, the fate friend, darling. Oi, bestie, oi, beware. You got a fake friend coming in, blood. They're coming in hot with confusion. Yes, be a big gossip. Subdiffusion, bull swanky. Moon energy on the face, darling, dears. In the reverse, they're coming in with a mask full on, darling, dears. Beware, beware. Remember, you are being divinely guided. And if this ain't a divine lineup, these. Then they divine doubled it down with the wickedness. The wickedness because envious, darling dears, of your work ethic. Whatever it is you are co-creating, darling dears, you are about to be recognized in a big way. If you are in the spiritual community, you are going to be what? Recognized as what? <laughs> An expert in your field, darling dears. King of swords. Why? Because you come with the intel. It also speaks about the level of work and effort you put into your business, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. But they want to come with fucking ease, blood. Straight to your hairline, blood. Listen, avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got friends that want to come in and mirror you, darling dears. Yes, they do. They want to disarm you, right? With the mirroring effect. Law number 44, you better shine up your third eye, darling dears. Shine up your third eye. What else about these friends? Yes, nothing good will come from that. They are toxic. And every situation they've been in, there's always been an issue. This new man or woman. They, which has an age gap with you, darling dears. In the past, could be in a blood relative or someone that you took as a friend. Could be a blood relative or someone that you're about to take as a friend, darling dears. They are what for gazy, as fake as a nine pound note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mental issues, darling dears. Whatever you've got going on creates mental issues for them, darling dears. They've got a lot of bad luck on them. Law number 10, avoid, 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 fight, 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 fight. And when you finish, avoid some more, darling dears. Yeah, you think your mundane life is boring? Nah, blood, they come to hot it up. They come with the fire and the brimstone. Mm -hmm. Remember, divine is gifting you with miracles. Remember to continue to tap into your passion. Remember, you have this intuitive nature about you. Remember, it's all gathering momentum, darling dears. Why? Because you got to embrace it, blood. Whatever you had to do in this unknown territory, darling dears. You had to act like it was fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. You had to what? Retrain your brain, blood. Mm -hmm. So why are they doing this? Why? Why would they want to befriend you to break you? Hey. Hey. Because of the karmic, karmic cycle they live on, darling dears. Judgment card on its forehead, darling dears. They're in denial. Of, they are the what? They are the nuclei to all of the bad luck, bad vibes, bad, in, bad credit, everything bad that's going on with them. They are the nuclei and it happens in every situation. They always attract like-minded souls. But they see you as a beacon, darling dears. Yes, and they want to come and watch sharing whatever you got by any means necessary. Again, the seven of swords. What else? Good golly and gosh, toxic to the core. Toxic to the core. They'll show their petticoat of wickedness, darling. This just goes to five of cups on its forehead. Listen. You will be on the rocks of life, darling dears. This will, they will turn your two of cups into a three of cups, broken cups. Remember I told you that? Mm-hmm. 
they will break relationships that you have around you darling this could be with your progeny your friendships maybe even business relationships you'll lose you'll lose things because of this person's words or their energy in your hemisphere remember you are divinely guided you have free will to choose whichever path you want darling dears good golly and gosh choose the 11 11 fade blood choose the 11 listen you've got free will but far be it from me to influence your choice mm -hmm. four of wands you're going to get an invitation to some kind of party and celebration it could also speak about you as i said in if you're in a spiritual community darling there's certain doors are about to be open to you remember i told you that as you get wish fulfillment two different decks darling there's miracles are afoot in your hemisphere i love it i don't hate it mm -hmm. so how are they gonna try and infiltrate we said they're gonna come wearing a mask darling dears listen they're coming off the back of what lots of broken relationship situations their mental health ain't listen and if, if you're envious and off someone else's gangster and you don't know what they did or had to sacrifice or go through especially the dns the dark night of the soul listen and they've become the red light green light champion as am i of 79 why would you hate on somebody who's managed to build themselves up you don't know what it took they had to what act like this new beginning was fabulous gorgeous and lovely they had to act like they loved it and didn't hate it in order for this true transformation to come in from spirit darling dears learning the wisdom learning themselves darling dears learning self-autonomy hmm. look treacherous darling dears they're not going to tell you about all of the past situations that are broken and on the rocks of life they possibly will be coming in blame shifting and mean darling dears Mm -hmm. and here you are standing alone there's nothing wrong with standing alone not many people can do it darling dears not for all the tea in china mm -hmm. so just a bit more what happened in their previous circumstances and situations why everything has turned to shiznai and they're on the rocks of life looking for someone else's light to attach to to get the echopraxic on or destroy it from the inside out yeah mm -hmm. unhappy childhood darling dears there was no loyalty no true love shown in that that situation they always felt left out and different mm -hmm. yes and they don't know how to what go through this game called life by themselves they need the energy of others but misery loves company darling dears this person will always be disloyal to you as i said they're coming in as a fakerzoid so they're coming in wearing someone else's persona remember i told you that possibly from the energies they previously been around darling dears they come to do wickedness free of swords to betray you darling dears to lie to you mm -hmm. some of them may even attempt to get you get you hooked on on drugs some kind of um time wasting escapism darling dears if your lowest good yeah this is saturn as well as the emperor energy saturn emperor freudian slip but saturn is the emperor Saturn is a bad boy, darling. He stays in each each sign for about two and a half, maybe three years. Mm -hmm. Could be two and a half, three years, darling. Dears, that you listen. This person could have been in your hemisphere for that amount of time. If it's a past person, it could be about that amount of time that they've been out of your situation, darling. Dears, and they haven't been doing well. If they've got a family, darling. Dears, there's no true love and, and happiness amongst them. What did I say? fake identity darling dears fake identity mm -hmm. they've got financial issues they've got spiritual issues there's f shit here 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 and here pardon me that was a spiritual belch because i speak the truth roof pinkies up we ain't getting smoked darling dears f shit here 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 and here listen it's a consortium of if shit darling dears they didn't have a happy childhood it also speaks about in debt spiritually as well as physically it also speaks about this person cannot be alone they will take any company 
just to be around someone, darling dears. But they create misery wherever they go. Why? Because as soon as they get there, they're jealous, envious. They hate people for what they've achieved, especially those that achieve by the sweat of their proverbial balls. Like you, bestie, just like you. This is person is an opportunist and they will be dexterous, darling dears. They will take you to your stress threshold and to your most piss off -edness, as you what attempt to punch yourself in the eye for allowing this energy into, the, into your life. Listen, I told you about the jazz hands, innit? When I was retraining my brain not to go down certain thought patterns, darling dears, I said to myself, Case, the judge and the jury have left the courtroom. The trial is over. No, it didn't work the first time, blood. Mm -mm, not the second. It took a lot of me telling myself that, darling dears. It took a lot. I've trained myself now that if anything occurs, darling dears, I don't focus on what happened. I focus what I'm going to do about it. Put your brain power to what you can change, darling dears. Not what towards you cannot change towards things you cannot change. Look how my words came out, confusing, darling dears. You can't change confusion. This person is confusion this, of people and their spirit is what disturbed. And listen, you don't want them crying those cold tears in your presence, Vlad. Oi, oi, that would be so wrong. Mm -hmm. So they have a destabilized um home life from the beginning could be something to do with their father energy this person is the king or queen of liars darling dears they will lie about their home life darling dears they may even come in for and tell you that they are an only child they're orphan whatever whatever it's a lie it's because the family has divorced them darling dears yes they had to get gone moon energy their family has told them to get thee behind me satan's most diligent worker it also speaks about the trauma and drama that they will bring this is not going to be a hidden enemy darling dears you will see and read their behavior yeah they always feel left out this is why they have to be amongst many they'll choose any company they don't care they're not discriminatory not everyone that presents to you is a friend blood when someone presents to me i'm like who sent you well, I do say that. I say it in my mind. And I want to know what your date of birth you are. You want to tell me? Okay, then. How old are you? Let's go to the decks, darling dears. The perfection charts. Mm -hmm. Find out what year they was born in. Yeah. We'll go to the Chinese astrology, darling dears. To see if their, their animal is compatible with your animal. Right? Because there's some animals that you can't be around, darling dears. There's snakes straight out of slivering from the crevice of the devil's balls. They come to what? Rob, steal and kill, darling dears. Jealous of any form of success you may have attained. Mm hmm. Yeah. They want to give, they want to come around you and make you doubt your abilities. Doubt that you come with that fire, that passion. Doubt that the, the trajectory that you've afforded yourself. Yes, the trajectory that you've afforded yourself, darling, is they want you to doubt they're coming to put, turn you into a doubting Thomas of your own gangster. Mm -hmm. Law number three, they will be concealing their intentions. Well, guess what? You, they, they hit you with the three, you hit them with the 21. What? What's that? Law 21. Play a soccer to catch a soccer. And if it's more than one, and if it's a group that's trying to draw you into their wickedness, tell each each member of that group different things about yourself and none of them are true. Let them argue amongst themselves. Why are they too busy backstabbing you over things that never occurred in your hemisphere? Let the energy stay amongst them. Yeah. This person is sick. And when they're not sick, they're tired of whatever it is that you've co-created, darling dears. It's a brave new world for you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You also had a court date in Kiefer, darling dears. Yes, you did. But you, your file, your file showed the hard work. It showed the what? The trauma that you'd overcome, darling dears. It showed that you even looked at yourself. 
looked into yourself for narcissism because when you are around toxic people, you will pick up their vibration, darling dears. Self-examination always brings self-improvement, darling dears, gifting you with the tree of life. This is the fool's journey, but it's with the 2020. Yeah, leave them where they are. East Island and Stevie Wonder. You have to become Gandalf the White. Yeah, in the face of liars, darling dears, emotional manipulators, and they are emotionally stuck. Yeah, their inner child is chucky, darling dears. They're stuck at the age where the trauma was created in their life. Okay, moon energy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Moon energy next to the trauma. It could also speak about some form of what? Abuse of their physical body in their childhood, darling dears. They've carried it. They've carried it. And that's not good. You see, people that you see these, these are people that I can't, I don't like, I, I, I abhor, abhor. That's gone past hatred. It's a war, right? A war, right? Are those that abuse children, elderly people, people that are disabled, unable to mentally understand who's taking the piss or the shit in their face? Yes, yes, yes. People that abuse animals, leave the animals alone, blood. I don't listen. I'm not going to tell you that I'm a lover of all animals. But at the end of the day, if it ain't effing with you, why are you effing with it? Yeah. You got the tree of life, blood. You overcame so many um, atrocities and heinous crimes. Some of you had to, what? Realize that you was gifting your psychological password. <gasps> I know, bestie. I know. And when you gave them your psychological password, their inner child, which is Chucky, laughed like this and that's how this new friend is going to laugh if you allow them in listen i keep my grass low blood so i can see the snakes i've ringed my perimeter of my domicile with cameras i drive with a camera what the hell i sleep with one eye open <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if this is for other mothers out there, but ever since I had my first progeny, I'm a light sleeper, blood. I can feel when the energy in the house has changed. I'm up. What's going on? Right? I'm up. And when I'm up, Nay is up with me, darling dears. Nay is up with me. But why do I call my back Nay? Because if you see Nay, right, you're going to be saying, Nay, Kay, stop it. Nay, Nay. And they'll be trying to get away from Nay. And this is another thing I want to say. If you're in your house at night time and you feel that disturbance in your house that like somebody's there, baby, do not, I repeat, turn on any lights. Nobody knows the inside of your house in the dark more than you. Unless, of course, you've got progeny that are young that like to leave Legos lying about the place, blood. <laughs> Ooh, child. Listen, let me reel it back in. Mm -hmm. this person wants to be a family member to you or they were a family member or you treated them like fa the adams family darling dears they did not expect you to be the breaker of the mold darling dears they did not s expect you to be the king of swords the keeper of the wisdom darling dears but it's not about you believing that you know it all anybody that says they know it all arch your back and run away like tinky winky they're feeble-minded and foolish darling dears and it takes one fool to make many fools nah blood you are constantly learning darling dears yes you're a teacher or a counselor but you are also the student this is how you play the game of life mm -hmm. Mask wearing marauder, full on Judas in a Peter suit, a Trojan horse, be on the alert and on the lookout, darling dears. What's this for the wicked? Yeah, subterfusion bull swanky, darling dears. They want to get into your cranium. They want to know everything you know. Listen, the five of swords is um Venus as well as um Aquarius energy. This is group darling dears. They want to know what's in your wallet. <laughs> Oh, you know how you're making your skrilla, how you're surviving, how you pay your bills, darling dears. Listen, this person is a fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not coming to be your colleague. They're coming to be your colonizer, 
Come through, Kendrick Lamar. Posh, clap. Yes, baby. Wop, 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 wop. <laughs> Take them out. You don't compete where you don't compare, darling dears. Oh, how now, brown cow, Leo energy. This person doesn't like your personal people, doesn't like your creativity, is what you created, darling dears. It also speaks about you standing out from the rest. Two of ones, your work ethic, darling dears. In order to get over some kind of toxic situation, you put yourself into your work. It could be spiritual work. And as I said previously, this is a spiritual community that you're in. You're about to be recognized for your works. We've got two fives on the tableau, darling dears. Good golly and gosh, it's about what? TKO, let it go. Mm -hmm. The energy of the 55 is, is a master number. Yep. It speaks about the big changes you, you've you made in your routine, darling dears. You're about to kick off a new project or a venture. Yes, you are. But the biggest change you've made in your routine was putting yourself first in every situation. You learned law number four, say less. And law number five. <laughs> Loud the bottom feeders, yeah? Hang with four bottom feeders, you're going to be five. No, you want to hang with four bosses, four like-minded souls, so that you can do what great people do. Share ideas. Average people, darling dears, share events. Low-minded simpleton bottom feeders with their fake identity do nothing but gossip. Bring subterfuge and bull swanky straight. From the crevice of the devil's balls. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to read the room, darling. Yes, and it could also represent somebody wanting to make amends. But it's 100% over. Maybe it was someone that you shared finance with, darling. Yes, but it's the rebirth and the rise of you. The eighth house could also speak about the death as well. I told you, death. The... the the unalivation of a past friend, darling dears, of somebody you saw as a fa or a family member, they're bleeding your energy, and they're they're gonna try and push you to do the things that they that will energize their spirit because they are displaced. Listen, as a spiritual being having a human experience, darling dears, yes, you can unalive yourself. Yeah, you can. You can if that's what you choose, right? But it means that you're coming right back. When you, We all get the chance to come back. So when you die, you're going to be met by people, maybe even a pet telling you to come towards the light. If you go towards the light, that is the re... <coughs> Excuse me, my simple play. That is the reincarnation cycle. Yes, B.A.B. No. When you pass away, darling dears, turn around. When you turn around, you will see the whole universe and your spirit, your soul will be able to go back to the star system that you are from. Listen, you've got to pay attention in these what interesting times with all of these interesting things going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about your money, darling dears, your money. And it also speaks about income, other people's money being paid to you. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. Eight houses also what? moving away because somebody's somebody you're definitely tapping into your latent latent um psychic abilities darling dears you've made um, many sacrifices many sacrifices but most of all the person who you used to be is dodo dead mm -hmm. yeah and anyone that tries to cross you at this stage of the game is getting instant karma because you've got the 11-11 fate to get through, darling. Is again, you fell on the five, so it's a countdown. You've got some kind of party. It could be an engagement. It could have bought a new home. It could be opening a business. It could be something online. It could be a spiritual business, darling. Is or something spiritually based, something that's going to benefit many, darling. Is you are a healer of the ages. Remember, I told you that. Let them watch the inner Chucky being disturbed. But be careful who you call as friend. Remember, acquaintance, acquaintance, acquaintance. What did I say? Acquaintance, acquaintance, acquaintance. Friend is a very, very... People, some people use it. Chuck it around like, like his fruit. No, blood. Friend means something very serious to me. Because I've been exposed to many that were not my friend. 
many of the people that came into my life along my healing journey to see how I managed to acquire these skills when it wasn't um, on me, it's in me. It is, as it's in you, bestie. Try to take me off my gang. Take me off my gang, star. You'll be so gone. You'll, you'll pinch yourself every morning if you dare to wake up to see if you're real. Mm, you'll be so Easter Island and Stevie wondered. Listen. Oh, listen. Once I cross you off my list, lad. Hey, hey. You can't go back on it. You must have done something very terrible. And you thought it wouldn't come out, darling dears. But that karma is on them like white or rice. Because you come through the... Good justice, darling dears. Libra energy, energy, and it also speaks about new one-to-one -one relationships coming towards you in the not too distant future. Mm -hmm. Divinely guided for sure. Yeah, baddest of them all. You know you're worth an ad tax. Queen of Pentacles speaks about the loyalty that you gave to situations that was fake and fugazi. You don't want those fake cups, darling dears. This is about you choosing and making the right choices. Scorpio energy again, the eighth house, death to the old you, the old way of being. You ain't pleasing no one. You ain't arguing and fighting with no one. Some of you just said, I don't want no new friend. Listen. Baby, if it's in your soul contract for you to make these new meetings with this new man or woman, you will meet darling dears. You use your discernment whether you want them in your life or not. Mm -hmm. Friendship or foe. We don't know until you let them in and they wreck everything you build. Palace of Wands on its face. Dampen that passionate fire, that phoenix rising within you, darling dears, right? Block all of the miracles that was gathering momentum to be delivered onto you. Good God, they'll have you looking like Quasimodo's bestie in them streets, barking at passing cars. You better learn, right, to move wisely, darling dears. And law number 19, know exactly whom you are dealing with. Yeah. like in the past your friends your friendship your friends what kind of friends did you attract before you woke up to whom you are and got on your journey yeah breadcrumbers toxic people you gossip talked about you like a dog darling this put you in difficult tight situations mm -hmm. this is like a usual suspect lineup darling dears yes you had to overcome it darling dears seven of swords on its forehead it was a mental war yeah but look overcome it you did eight of cups you walked away from that trauma and drama went into the unknown right and you had to act like you love it you don't hate it in order for this true transformation to come through yep Mm -hmm. Boss up mode, emperor energy, base of the deck. You have a message coming towards you. We've got Aquarius, Capricorn, and I can also see Pisces energy. You have a message coming through for you, darling dears. Knight of Swords, it speaks about it coming quickly. Gemini energy is the contact of this soul person, part of your soul tribe, darling dears. It also speaks about you also have a contract. Somebody's going to be signing a contract. Gemini, lovers, energy, third house, communication, hot communication coming in. Communication could be um, from a sibling, someone in your neighborhood, someone that, because a, a community, um, it could also represent online next to the sword energy, but by itself, it still represents online, darling dears. You've got communication coming in. The deck says no more. The deck says, allow me. So what does the wicked want? Let's get another deck. These echo praxis. This is what happens. You know when you tidy up, you tidy up, you think, oh, I'm going to put everything in order. The disorder was where you knew where everything was. <laughs> Good child. Yeah, so what do these snakes straight up slivering want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
bring you down Bobby Brown darling there's wood they're looking for information to either copy or to create separation darling there's stop whatever you've got going on listen you better what forget the snake darling there's read the room shorty mm -hmm. cut them off with your what boundaries darling there's enable your boundaries so what if you met them yesterday and today you don't feel like being their friend you don't like their energy you don't have to announce it. You just do accordingly, darling. This big cat know how to make people invisible. Mm -hmm. This is a snake, darling. This envious, jealous, trying to copy what you've got going on. They don't like the fact of love of self. Maybe you even have a partner in your life or the partner that's coming into your life. They will hate the passion that you create, darling. This. And if this is a person coming towards you, look at that chemistry. Mm -hmm. Undeniable. And we've got the lovers, fated meeting, and Cupid's arrows. Let the watchers watch, darling dears, because your life is abundance. All they can do is talk, mouth meeting, darling dears. Mm -hmm. A snake will always be a snake. They shed their skin, don't you know, to become a bigger snake. Read the room, shorty. Miracles are afoot. On that note, I drops me mic. So I'd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Remember, universal love is shining on you. Forgive the feeble-minded darling dears, but don't give them what? Access to you again or at all. Remember, you have something to lose, darling dears. And they are what? Full of narcs, sociopaths, or psychopaths with no certificate from a psychologist, counselor, or an exorcist, darling dears. Allow them. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Take your way. Until we meet again. On the Tarot Streets.